Welcome back. Thank you for joining me in part two, where we talk about and we revisit my whole entire Hogsmeade adventure. Make sure you like, subscribe, and press the notification button. And let's get right on into it. So first, I want to say it was super crowded, obviously. This is the time of year to go to Universal, therefore Hogsmeade. But thank you to the Express Pass that Universal offers. I got to pretty much skip like a little bit more than half the waiting time period for that. Um, so right now, this is me going through platform nine and three quarters. As you can see, um, it's kind of hard to see the platform. It's a long platform nine and three quarters wall. And what you couldn't see was a little mirror that showed you the person going through before you. It looked like they were going right through the wall. So that was fun. <laughs> we are coming up to the baggage of the students. You know, this is, you know, the waiting deck. R.A.P. Hedwig, you should have never died that way. How long does an owl live? Seven and a half books, and that's not cool. Not cool. So as you could see, this is the Hogwarts Express. The ride going there had a certain storyline, as I said before, and the ride coming back has another storyline. Unfortunately, there are only two storylines, but it's fine. It's like you're getting some inside scoop from the movies that we didn't yet see. So this is Hogsmeade, yay, you know? This is the entrance to Hogsmeade, and it was very, very crowded, but I did get to go to some places like Filch's Emporium and this is just a little bit of the inside of Filch's Emporium. You see some owl decoration. It was very lovely. There was a lot to get in there and I was going insane but I did get something and it's really cool. So what you're going to see right now is a puzzle, 300 piece puzzle of the Mortars map. It is so cute. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm excited to put it together and then to like do one of those things that people do, which is like they put their puzzles together and then you kind of like hang it up on a wall. So yeah, I'm really excited to do that. Then I went to the Dervish and Bang, Banges, Banges, Banges. Anyway, don't mind me. I got a cup. I get a cup wherever I go when I'm going somewhere special. And I had to get a Slytherin cup because I have Slytherin pride, okay? And now I'm using this cup basically every single morning to have my coffee in. It starts my day, you know? So I also bought this lovely little book of monsters, <laughs> the monster book of monsters, which was introduced in the third book and movie Prisoner of Azkaban when Hagrid was teaching um, the class on Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, I think. If I'm recalling correctly, do not kill me in the comments. It has been about seven years since I reread the books. Ah, oh no, it's biting me. Oh no, it's alive. I also got this really cool um, poster for the Quibbler. And it's got these really awesome glasses that are included with it. I haven't opened it yet because I, I don't want it to be ruined. But when I do open it, I might do a little video or something. But this is really cute. I just bought it because I wanted some more stuff to put on my wall. So we ate at the Three Broomsticks for breakfast, actually. This is the inside of the Three Broomsticks. As you can see, I just panned a little bit so you could see a little bit of the inside. It's really cool. 
it was a long line to get our food and then it was a long wait for the food but it was very much enjoyable So without further ado, let's start with one of my personal favorites, shall we? Double, 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 trouble, fire, baby, double, 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 trouble, something wicked this way goes.
wasn't that amazing. So this is me, yeah, girl. And before you leave, I am going to put on a final performance so that you guys could listen to it. It's awesome. Also, do not forget to comment and like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'm a queen.